Wellington songwriter and producer Mike Fabulous D.O.E.S.N.T. sits still, he is currently revving up for a November tour for his Lord Echo project in two special locations, in Wellington's San Fran and Auckland's Hollywood Cinema, which promises to be a sound and light extravaganza. On top of that he has also got festival dates lined up for his fabulous Arabia duo with Lawrence Arabia and is well known for his work with supergroup Fly My Pretties. Fabulous describes Lord Echo's new album Harmony as a diverse blend of reggae, disco, African soul, techno and spiritual jazz. Naturally this got us wanting to know more about what inspired the album, so we asked him to share some info about his favorite African dance records. 1. Oscar Sully Bukamashi I'm lucky to be on the UK label Soundwave that brought this incredible piece of music to light. It was deemed too progressive for release initially I love how it has this big band thing going on the arrangement but the rhythm section is just so supremely tough and danceable you can play this up town or down, it never fails, too. Les Yautoup is du Zaire je ne bois pas beaucoup they are so much beautiful guitar work in African music, such an imitable phrasing. Thrill Off and B2 are more interlocking parts made up of repeating figures that become more hypnotic the more they're repeated. They kind of build to a fever pitch and this song is the tune plays out 3. Muse Imo and Deary Nadano Gio Niwa I couldn't find the version I wanted of this song by Ambiri Young Stars, but this 80s version by Muse Imo has a compelling music video for your consideration, and who could tire of the melody whatever the arrangement evergreen is the name given to a song that is timeless and this is just one of those tunes I think. Four. Orchestra Polyrhythmo de Cotanu ne Rienvoir, dear, entendre Vaden another fantastic melody on this one, to me it's almost Brazilian in character somehow. The bass bubbles. Somehow the whole thing seems to lilt in a strange way. More cowbell, 5. Fred Fisher Asasa I remember first hearing this in Auckland at the turnaround, Kian was playing it, I was dancing right next to the speakers. It's such a great example of African disco those repeating guitar figures again with super crisp 70s drums on this one. Probably recorded at the Emmy studio in Lagos I guess, it sounds great anywhere. You can catch Lord Echo live performing in Auckland and Wellington for the Harmonies tour, more info below.